Monitoring exhaust levels is one way of gauging if the correct air to fuel ratio is being used in a vehicle. Oxygen sensors and air fuel sensors both serve this purpose, detecting the level of oxygen in the exhaust gases in order to determine if the air fuel mixture is rich, meaning it has too much fuel, or lean, meaning it has insufficient fuel. This information is then sent to the engine control unit, or ECU which can increase or decrease the amount of fuel used in the mix. However, while both oxygen sensors and air fuel sensors help create optimal fuel mix, they differ in the way they operate and are not interchangeable. Conventional oxygen sensors are less sensitive than air fuel sensors and can only determine if the fuel mix is rich or lean, but cannot tell by how much. Air fuel sensors, on the other hand, can measure the exact air fuel ratio and how far it is from the ideal mix. With this precise information, the ECU can make exact corrections to the injected fuel quantity and reach the target air fuel ratio almost immediately. The ECU also monitors catalytic converter efficiency by comparing signals from both sensors. If the catalytic converter is functioning correctly, the sensor's signals should be steady. However, if it begins to fluctuate or the signal of the downstream sensor starts to mirror the upstream sensor, that may indicate that the catalytic converter is not performing as it should. Any issues with the catalytic converter or a faulty sensor will most likely trigger the check engine light to illuminate. To learn more about the differences between an O2 sensor and an air fuel sensor, visit denzoautoparts.com.